Chemotherapy neuropathy is a big problem uh, with a number of different chemotherapy drugs. They can cause this neurotoxicity, oftentimes numbness, tingling, shooting, burning pains that come on with therapy and last for a long time after therapy. Many times it gets a bit better after therapy is completed, but many times it can be a problem for a long period of time. What causes it? So that's a good question. Nobody knows for sure what it causes, what causes it. The different chemotherapy drugs uh, affect the nerves in different ways. There's loss of nerves at the end of the fingertips and the, and the toes. Uh, the problem is usually a stocking glove problem. The distal ex extremities is where the problem is. There's some things that might affect the myelin sheaths along the nerve function and other things that cause them. And the drugs are different in terms of how they cause this neurotoxicity. It actually can be reversible. It oftentimes is reversible to some degree. For some patients, it's completely reversible. Other patients, it can be a prominent problem that lasts for months or years and a very debilitating sort of problem. Some patients don't get much neurotoxicity with the same dose of chemotherapy. Other patients get quite a bit of problem. And then when it's stopped, it tends to get better in some patients and other patients, it, it's a problem for a long period of time. When patients get paclitaxel, the, the two most common drugs causing neurotoxicity are paclitaxel and oxaliplatin, both because they cause a fair amount of neuropathy and also because they're used so frequently. When you stop paclitaxel, on average the pain gets better and the numbness and tingling. It's actually more of a problem with numbness and tingling than it is actually pain. It tends to get better on average once you stop the therapy. Once you stop oxaliplatin, it tends to get worse for two or three months before it starts to get better. But I think it's just the last dose of the chemotherapy actually takes two or three months before it fully manifests its total neurotoxicity with oxaliplatin.